How are you guys doing? Well, the other day I did a video about Michael Hill watches. I went into one of their locations and asked them about their watches, where they were manufactured, who manufactured by, some basic questions. They didn't want to talk to me at all. They just said that Michael Hill watches were made by Michael Hill. As if there's a factory with a big Michael Hill sign right on it. Those kind of things, you know. Well, I went into another store 50 miles away. I just happened to be in the neighborhood and dropped in. Now, this store was willing to talk to me. And they said they didn't know the answers to my questions. But we looked at some of their watches. They were willing to show me their watches. And myself and the store clerk were looking at the watches. And clearly on the watches, it said right on it, made in China, right on the tag. So that answered the questions where they're made. And as movements go, we started looking more into the watches. And one of the watches said Japan movement. So that would indicate to me perhaps a Mayota movement, a Mayota, Mayota quartz movement. Another watch, more expensive one, said Swiss made movement. It was a quartz, so that could indicate to me a Ronda movement or something like that. Well, anyway, the salesperson was willing to talk and they gave me some information. And they gave me a little brochure. I think this is one that you would get with your watch if you bought one, so I'll go through it with you. Your Michael Hill watch. And it just says, um, congratulations on your new Michael Hill watch. Each time piece is backed by an international three-year guarantee, skillfully craft crafted with the knowledge of six generations of master watchmakers. This expertise has been handed down from father to son, assuming, assuring you of an, an elegant timepiece for every moment of every day. And then, Yes, this is the Michael Hill fellow himself here. And it goes on to the little brochures. I guess you get this with your watch if you bought one. It just goes on to history. There's a special history behind every piece in the Michael Hill watch collection. It's a story of a family with six generations of watchmaking experience, expertise. Master watchmaker Human, Herman, Bruno, Fischi, Created and serviced watches for the most influential people of his time, including royalty. That's quite a good claim, including royalty. Hmm. I guess this is a picture of one of the stores. And it goes on here. There's the, the fishy guy. In 1901, Herman arrived in... Auckland, New Zealand, with his wife and children. His knowledge and passion for timepieces has been passed down from generation to generation, creating a lineage of master craftsmen and a reputation for outstanding quality, a legacy that was to be inherited by his great-grandson, Michael Hill. This fellow here. Michael embraced his heritage and trained as a watchmaker after leaving school it is the rich family history of craftsmanship that now forms the cornerstone of the Michael Hill watch collection. Each timepiece is ex exactingly designed to deliver the precision and meticulous attention to detail you would expect combined with the contemporary styling for which Michael Hill is now internationally renowned. Another picture there of an automatic movement. It's got the moon phase. Quite a complication there. And on the other side of the little brochure, it just has some basic care and maintenance about your watch. Same kind of thing you would get if you got a watch from AliExpress or Walmart. They have a little paper. And it's about the battery, some words about water resistance. And some words about the guarantee and about to Australian consumers, New Zealand consumers, and Canadian consumers. Doesn't say much about USA consumers. Nothing really. 
And now from my research on the internet, this is what it says in Wikipedia. I'll read that to you. In late 2006, following a five-year trial, the company launched its own brand of watches under the Michael Hill name, phasing out all but the Citizen brand of watches by the middle of 2007. By mid-2008, only Michael Hill brand watches were available in the company's store. So here's an example of their watches. You can see the prices they charge for them. I'll show you that in a bit. To me, these watches remind me of generic watches I've seen on AliExpress. Generic watches I've seen right at Walmart. But that's what they re just remind me of. If you guys see anything different in them, let me know. But we'll go over some of it here. So here's the A watch. The A watch here. So it says here, gold tone stainless steel watch, 30 millimeters, meters water resistant, $259. Okay. B, this watch right here. Rose tone stainless steel watch, 30 meters water resistance. $259. See? That really does remind me of a fashion brand I've seen. Um, it began with a V. I don't remember the name, but it began with a V. But it does remind me. They look quite a bit like that. That one there reminds me a little bit of the Parnas watches, too, you often see. Let's see what it says. Rose Tone Stainless Steel and Blue Chronograph Watch. 50 meters water resistance. $299. Okay, let's watch over here. D. Okay. Rose Tone Stainless Steel and Genuine Leather Watch. 30 meters water resistant. $199 with, was $229. And finally over here, there's E. Best sellers. Wow. Okay. Okay. Gold Tone Stainless Steel Chronograph Watch, 50 meters, water resistant, $299. And there's another one here with this fellow wearing it, this model guy. Best seller again. He's got his ring on too. And it says um, 0 0.50 candle chronograph watch, 100 meters, water resistance. $999 was $1,199. This one right here. Okay. Now there's these watches down here, a couple of them. Now see so some of their other jewelry here is quite pricey too. They, they do sell a variety of rings and stuff. $1,899, another best seller. They're all best sellers. 0 0.50 carat of diamonds and sapphire crystal ceramic watch, 100 meters water resistance. It has a lot of information about this watch in very small print. They talk about something to do with the water resistance here. I'll just try to get that close so you guys can see it. If you guys are interested in reading it, I can get up close so you can see it there. And it does talk a lot about their water resistance. That doesn't look much like a diver's watch to me, though. I don't think it is a diver's watch, but 100 meters water resistance. But they're particular here describing this 100 meters water resistance in the case of a warranty. I'm not too worried about that because I'm not buying that anyway, right? So, when I went into the Michael Hill store, 50 miles away, where they were nice enough to willing to talk to me, I had looked at some of their watches, like I said. I held some of them, and to me, they reminded me of 
fashion watches. They, they had made in China. The movements were made. Japan movement. Some of them had the Swiss movement, Quartz movement. But the watch themselves just reminded me of fashion watches. And they looked, all their watches looked to be quite large. They all looked to be, most of them looked to be over 42 millimeters. They looked to be about the size of 44, 45 millimeters. The, the um, dial, case and dial. They were quite large watches. And they look to me to be outdated. So if by mid-2008, only their brands were available in the company's stores, they look to me like they haven't changed so much from 2008. They were quite large. And back then, large watches, extra large, like 40-something millimeters, like 45-millimeter watches or bigger, they were in style back then. So it reminded me of watches that were in style in recent years. But this is a good example. See how the thought watch fits him. It's quite large. And these watches are quite large looking too. They don't really tell you much about the, the size of the watch. But anyway, the company never contacted me back. And I'm still waiting on that. So I'm just telling you about how things went with the second store I went to. And I hope this video helps educate you guys about Michael Hill watches. And I thank you for your time.